Hello guys, this is The Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. So yesterday, the brand new Sledgehammer melee weapon was added to the game. Now how you actually unlock this is you need to equip the combat knife onto your class and you can go into either Warzone or Black Ops Cold War's multiplayer to unlock this. These steps are the same, but it's going to be a lot easier to do in multiplayer and I would highly recommend playing the Nuketown 24-7 playlist. That is going to be the easiest way to complete this, but that won't be around forever. And you need to kill two or more players rapidly in succession in 15 different matches. I didn't have a single issue doing this, this was very easy for me to complete, it took exactly 15 games. However, there is a catch, right now there is currently a bug in the game, and if you leave the game after you complete one of the challenges at any point, the progress towards unlocking the sledgehammer will not track properly, and it will discount count your progress on any game that you leave. So when you do this, you need to make sure that you finish the game entirely. If you back out, this will glitch. Now they will fix this at some point. So when they do fix this, and if you happen to be watching this video after they have already fixed it, I will add a pinned comment to the video letting you know that it is fixed and you are then able to leave games. But at this current point in time, if you leave games, it will bug out. Anyways, what I'm going to do for you right now is I'm going to talk about how it performs in zombies. So within my game, I managed to fully upgrade the weapon. I pack-a-punched it three times and also upgraded it to tier 5 so that it is legendary. And the interesting thing is, is that when you pack-a-punch the weapon, it's called Zjolnir, which is obviously a direct reference to Thor's hammer called Mjolnir. I probably mispronounced them slightly. So yeah, this weapon is literally Thor's hammer inside of Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And of course, you can equip the Dead Wire ammo mod onto it from the pack-a-punch. And if you do so, you will literally be able to electrocute the zombies with the hammer just like Thor's hammer. And what I find extremely interesting is that all the way back in the day in Black Ops 2's campaign, there was a Thor's hammer easter egg. A lot of people have kind of forgotten about this and even the symbol on Thor's hammer is very similar to Treyarch's logo. So right now I want to talk about how the weapon actually performs in zombies. So the damage output is exactly the same as the combat knife. It seems like all melee weapons in the game are going to have the same damage output. And when I managed to fully upgrade the weapon, I was able to kill the Megaton in around three hits on round 30 plus. I will say though, there are some downsides to this weapon and probably I would say the combat knife is better because you move pretty slowly with this weapon. You move a lot faster with just the combat knife, obviously because it is a really heavy hammer. But the thing is that the damage output is not any better. So it doesn't make any sense. There should be some sort of benefit fit for moving slower and also the weapon lunges a lot further than the combat knife and also a lot more often. It's a lot harder to prevent the lunge and I found that when I was playing it was just causing me to lunge forward all of the time which would lead me to get hit a lot and also the lunge itself is really slow with the weapon. You can't really spam it like you can with the knife so the knife is just a lot better than this however the hammer is very cool. It looks really cool but it's just not as good as the knife as I was saying you lunge more the lunge is a lot slower and you also move a lot slower. I do think that the range is slightly more than the knife though, but not really by that much. So that's my review on the weapon. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.